Hi, I see in our issues that you want to import to the, I presume the DR memories for the IC7100. I don't know why I presume the DR memories, but I do. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I think it was the layout of the information that made me make that presumption. So the first thing that you need to do is get your program ready. You may already have memory channels in, and if you do and it's a working file, that's fine. But we're going to go over here to DR Memories, and it's full. It's full of stuff that came from ICOM. This is the original file that came with the radio. And so we're going to click right here on the first number. I'm going to hit Shift, Down Arrow, or Page Down until I get to the bottom. I'm going to go to Edit and Clear Channels and Control Home and I'm back at the top and now I have a blank slate to work with. Looking at your file, let me open it. Uh, yeah, I don't have it open right now. It's in my downloads directory and there's just some things that have to be done to get the program ready, just like you would have to do to get the radio ready to set this up in it. It's just a reflection of the radio. Let's see, you're here somewhere. There you are. Let's open it in Excel. And what I'm interested in is this group number and this group name. Four is Canada. Twenty, well, 14 is Latin America. Um, 20 is U.S. Midwest. Wherever you got this list from. 21 is USA Northeast. 22 is USA Southeast. And you got a 23 down here for USA West. Okay, like I said, wherever this list came from. That's what interests me because while these are used by the DR memories, they are not a part of the DR memories. The DR memories reach out to another part of the radio structure and gather this information for their use. So we're going to make the program ready just as you would have to make the radio ready. It's just easier to do here. So I'm going to reduce this and close this for the time being. And I'm going to go to settings and bank group names. Okay. Notice Latin America is 12. Canada's four. Hey, we're in good shape. But Latin America is 12. If I import that, it's going to pick up the number and you're going to end up with Oceana. Um, the Midwest is 16, not 20. And you notice you have a difference here. So we're going to make it the same as your file, which is easy to do. Shift back arrow, control X because I want it from there. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste purely because my computer doesn't do control V. Control V would get it done. And I'm going to pick up this one and control X and I'm going to bring it up to number 20. I could leave them duplicated in there. You're not using the other numbers, but I just don't want to do that. And the reason we don't do this for you automatically is what if you had another file set up and you were using all of those and we just went in and willy nilly made changes and said, oh, we're going to put this one here and we're going to put that one there and we're going to change this name. And the next time you load that file that you spent hours building, nothing's the same. Because you changed heart information. You changed the brain of the radio. And we just did it willy-nilly behind the scenes. Wouldn't be very nice, would it? Now, we have four at Canada. We have 14 at Latin America. 20 for the U.S. Midwest, 21 for the Northeast, 22 for the Southeast, and 23 for the West, and tell it okay. Now, 
file import notice i am on the dr screen if i were on regular memories it would do something different i am on the dr screen we'll do the regular memories in a minute and i'll show you how it varies and i'm going to come down here and find your file I'm going to use this one because I know the other one's open with Excel. And everything falls into place. My name, my sub band, my repeater one call sign, my repeater two call sign, my receive frequency, my offset direction. That's what it says under there, offset direction. My offset frequency, and I notice some of these are zero, which is fine my mode which are they all dvs it's it's dv and dr memories anyway it can't be anything else and they all match up nicely like i expect them to see there's not an operating mode in here and we go next and we go finish Notice you have more than 899 channels in this file. You either need to go through it and pick out what you don't want, or we'll be happy to throw out anything over 899. That's what we're going to do here. And so I have no idea what it's throwing out. But we have the first of them in Canada. Then we have 20 for the USA Midwest. My banks line right up with your file because I took the time to set it up in the brain of the radio, which you do in the brain of the programmer. Okay, things look real good here. I'm curious about that Latin America for 14. There they are, Latin America. Okay, so now your DR memories are all there. If I go to band A and I do file import, this should be interesting. Let's see what it does with it. And we have the repeater one and the repeater two. We're in DV mode. We have the dupe. We have the name. That's just what we told it to use for the name. And we have the first 98 of them. Here you need to break them down into little files of 98 each. You've got five of them. And you can get 500 in that way if you want to use them in here. So. Either way you want to do it, that'll get the job done. Yes, there was a problem. You need to make sure you go to help and check for updates before you begin this process. The, the fix has been posted. Matter of fact, mine had to be fixed before I could do, make this video for you. This will get you going, get you imported, and get you on the air with DSTAR. Do not forget. Digital D star setting, put your call sign, your registered call sign, right here under my call sign, your note, and your text message, and tell it OK, and all of this will go to the radio at the same time. That'll get you up and going. Hope that helps. This is Karen, K0RTX. Maybe I'll hear you on the air.